boys and girls, it's Miss Carol, and I'd like to read another story to you. Tonight's story is going to be about manna and quail. Now, manna is a kind of a bread, kind of a wafer, and it is a gift from God. It's called God's gift. And then quail is a kind of a bird. So I'm going to read a story about manna and quail. Okay. Now, you remember I read you a story about the parting of the Red Sea and how all the people went through that sea and they kept, and then, and then the soldiers and the Pharaoh were swallowed up into the sea after they had gotten to the other side. Well, th this is the same group of people. They're called Israelites. And they are walking through the desert, and they've been walking for a very long time. So they're looking for food. They're getting hungry. So if you're all ready, I'll begin our story. When I'm reading from our The Beginner's Bible. You know, I like to read stories from here for you because they're really, um, they're perfect for your age and for you to understand. So let's begin. Our story is called Manna and Quail. God's people traveled a long way. They began to complain. Boys and girls, do you know what it means to complain? You probably do. It means when you're moaning and groaning and you're not happy, that's complaining. Well, that's what these people did. So they began to complain. They said they did not have enough food. So God sent food to them. That evening, at dinner time, quail came for them to catch and eat. Now remember, quail is a kind of a bird. And at every breakfast time, they found sweet wafers of bread on the ground. And they called it manna. So here's a picture, boys and girls. Here's the manna on the ground, and there's the quail. See how it kind of looks like a chicken? Kind of looks like a chicken there in the platter. So that's manna and quail. So the people got manna in the morning and quail at night. And remember, God sent that to them. The Israelites kept traveling. Everywhere they went, God gave them manna. But at one place, there was no water, and the people complained again. Give us water to drink, they told Moses. Moses asked God what to do. Boys and girls, I'm going to stop there. Now remember, God's going to do something, but I don't want to tell you yet. Because next week's lesson, this week's mess, uh, lesson is manna and quail, and next week it's going to be where the water came from when Moses asked God what to do. So I'm just going to stop there, and then next week we'll read the story again, and then I will continue on. So this week, think about where did God send that water from? And see if you're right when I read this story next week, okay? All right, I am going to read a second story. And, and I'm reading stories to you this week to show you how God takes care of us. Whatever we need, God takes care of it and makes sure that we get what we need. So I'm going to read another story to you that's called A Jar and a Jug. jug. And it's another way of God taking care of, of our needs. So listen to the story. It's a little bit different than the man and the quail one, but again, we know God is taking care of us. So a jar and a jug. Since there was no rain, Elijah's brook dried up. Now, boys and girls, a brook is like a stream. So there's water running through it. But if it needs rain to refill up. And evidently it had not rained in a long time and it was very hot and the brook dried up. So there was no rain. Elijah's brook dried up. He had no water and he had no food. 
but still God took care of him. Go to a small town in Sedan, said God. A lady there will give you food. So, oh, see, boys and girls, there's that hot sun, and then there's the brook with no water. It all dried up, so there was nothing that he could drink, and there was no food. So Elijah went. At the town gate, he saw a lady. Will you bring me some water and bread? Elijah asked. Oh, the lady said, I only have a little flour in a jar, and I have a little oil in a jug. I was going to make some bread for me and my son. It is all we have. Okay, there's Elijah talking to the lady at the gate, and then there's the lady with her son, her little son. Let's see what happens. But Elijah said, don't be afraid. Make me some bread first, then make some for you and your son. God will not let the jar of flour be empty. He will not let the jug run out of oil. The lady did what Elijah told her, and God kept his promise. Her jar of flour was not used up. Her jug of oil was never empty. So there was food for her family every day. Elijah stayed at her house, and she shared her food with Elijah as well. Well, what a good story, boys and girls. Again, God takes care of us. God keeps his promises, doesn't he? Well, I hope, boys and girls, you're having a good week. And I look forward to finishing our story that we started today. So remember, turn it, tune in next week and I will tell you where God gets the water from for all these people that are thirsty. And remember, God keeps his promises to you and he loves you very, very much. So boys and girls, have a wonderful week. And as I always say to you, when I leave after I'm done with my story, I always say blessings to you all. Bye-bye, boys and girls.